Friday, an international organization drops a bombshell on the U.S. economic future. According to the International Monetary Fund, in just five short years, the age of America will come to an end. Check out this chart from the IMF. By 2016, China's economy will surpass that of the U.S. and become the largest in the world. Meanwhile, just 10 years ago, our country's growth was three times that of China. Steve Forbes is the chairman and editor-in-chief at Forbes Media. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. Good to be with you. Thank you. Nice to be with you, too. Do you agree that America is in her sunset years? Uh, no. This is a painful pause, just as we had in the 1970s. You know, in the early 1980s, Japan and Western Europe had caught up to us after World War II in terms of per capita income, economic output, and the like. Then the U.S. surged ahead for the next 20, 25 years. I think after 2012, even before, we're going to start to make major reforms, stabilize the dollar, simplify the tax code, pursue real deregulation, like getting rid of Obamacare. Then you'll see this country surge ahead. No one matches us yet in terms of innovation. It is bubbling below the surface. All we have to do is get these weights out of the way, and we move ahead. Well, I'm so happy to hear your, uh, your optimistic outlook as compared to the IMF. But let's look at the history, because when Bill Clinton left office, if you'll remember, we had something like an $86 billion surplus, no deficit. So nobody would have predicted that America would be waning economically and on the decline. How in 11 short years have we gotten ourselves into this position? Well, we forgot the principles of Ronald Reagan. One, we started to let the dollar get weak again, trash the dollar. Weak dollar always means weak growth and recovery, which is why living standards are stuck in a rut, why we're getting all this speculation instead of sound, productive investment. Uh, we went on a spending binge, which has gotten worse in the last two years. That hurts. That sucks out resources from the economy. We're weighing the economy with massive new regulations on the Internet, on health care, on the financial industry. All of that weighs us down. We did something of the same thing 35 years ago in the 1970s. We looked hopeless then. We emerged strong, moved ahead. I think we're going to have the same thing. Different circumstances, but the principles of, of progress have not changed. In